And we're back for a regular episode, not any of that half episode stuff. I still have a few people to battle on this route, and I kind of thought about it. Sabrina's Pokemon are like level 50, and when you look at my party, it's pretty much 39, so I should probably train these guys up. But I made a little change to the team. Zomcrab is off. Vine is now on because, well, Vine is way stronger in every single way. Except for maybe the fact that it also has bug typing to it now. But regardless, we can move forward with this team. And Vine hopefully will not be seeing the light of day in battle for quite a while. Hopefully everybody else can just handle it all. But yeah, there's people on this route that I still have to battle, but I don't remember who... Also, thinking about it, I think there's only one place left to catch Pokemon other than when you get to Victory Road. And that one place would be Cerulean City. I don't think I've caught anything there yet. Celadon City might be another option. Not completely sure about that, though. I don't think there's anybody back here, right? Is there an item back here, though? Oh, yeah, since Zom Crab was the one that new cut, I had a reteach cut. And I gave it to Vine. Zom Crab's replacement. I already caught something here. Technically, it was in the water, but still. So we can safely just go ahead and kill this and move on with our lives. I would have liked it if he died. That kind of works, but I wanted the XP. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, nothing in this grass. All right, I know we got to battle the two beauties or whatever they are now that are right there on screen. Who else is that to battle? If anybody, it'd be like those two that we just saw. You want two Pokemon with me? Does that have like a different meaning? A writer wants to fight. The Mankey. Not concerned. Let's go ahead and side beam. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to stand up to it, even though it wasn't super effective. Next. Ooh, this could be bad for us, but I think we'll be okay. That was a crit. Became confused, yes. But it might have like drill peck. That's why I think it might be bad for us. We're okay. Let's finish this. And defeated. Level 37, let's go, Houdini. Two more, and then you're like on par with most of the team. It's over already? Yes, it is. It'd be good for you to realize those things sooner. Just saying. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's items down here. Ooh, I gotta battle him too. You're a battleable. I always go with bird Pokemon. I don't care. Ghost Rider wants to fight. Nidorina. Who do you need to kill real quick? Pretty sure I can. I feel like it's ghost typing. Yeah, it's dead anyway. Next, Kakuna. No one's worried about that. Next is Vile Plume. I don't know what that is either. I could figure it out. I have two plumes now. Ah, frickin'. Let's kill the Vile Plume. I do have an antidote on me. Sir, You know, this is probably dumb of me, but I've done it anyway. Oh, we lived. We're good. We are 100% good.
out of power. I don't care. I really don't. All right, let's whip out the antidote. See if our Alakazam. He's good. He's good. He's gonna make it. He's gonna be fine. Where's the item that's around here? In this bush? It's an X accuracy. I don't use those. I mean, probably if I did the one hit KO moves, I would use it, but I don't do those moves, so I don't use it. All right. I think there's three people left to battle on this route. Two people left to battle on this route. Yes. Two people left to battle. Wow, your badges are too cool. Thanks. After we're done there, I think I'll go up to Celadon City. Not Celadon. Cerulean. I have to double check if I've actually caused something on Celadon. That's Cerulean City. We're going to try and go to the water just above it. See if the whole town turns blue, which it should. Or the whole screen turns blue. With the coloring of the town. And then from there, catch something. There's also a trainer back there to battle. He's trying to learn psychic. <gasps> yes, you can learn psychic. I would never stop you from learning psychic. Get rid of confusion. We're going to keep recover. Recover is a good thing to have during the Nuzlocke. And I've decided after the series is over, all Nuzlocks are going to be live streamed. So I will still, still do Nuzlocks, but they're going to be live streamed. I might cut up those live streams into different episodes and then post them along with other videos instead of giving them their own day like I do with this series right now. This series is going to go on for a very long time just because I don't put a lot of time into each episode. Like, I try to make sure they're under half an hour is what I mean. So yeah, in the future, regular series that are going to be on my channel won't include this, but this will still will be uploaded. It's just going to be live stream first. Which means I also have to change up the format where I'm not doing gifts on the side because that that's too much. I knew that going into this, it was too much, but still, I like doing a lot. In order to really get down to doing things like on DS games, I need to get a capture card that will run on my computer with OBS. The capture card I have now is like the model right before it lets you use OBS. Because Elgato does not want the HD60 to be able to work with OBS. Or even their newer interface. I'm still running on their old interface. All this, though, this recording that you're seeing right now actually comes out of a program on my gaming PC. Or at least it should if it didn't corrupt. It shouldn't have corrupted, but still. Yeah. This is being recorded at 2K and 1080p. And I always try to post the 2K whenever I can. 1080p just runs as a backup. All right, I think there is one more person to battle. I don't think I got this guy because the item is still sitting there. So after I battle him, we should be all done with battling everybody that is not in water or gyms. Everybody else on land should have been battled. Or in the mansion. I haven't battled in the mansion yet. I don't think I got that super nerd by the power plant either. I'll have to get him at some point. I just want to make sure I battle everybody in the game. Every single NPC. Not very effective. Did a lot. What are you disabling? Oh, I was going to use that next. Try pedal dance. Ooh. Hey, Porion. Hello. I'm thrashing about. Not very effective. Did about half the health. Lower my defense. Come on. One more. This should kill it. And it did. Houdini is on level 39. He is officially caught up with the rest of the teams. There you go. Lost it. Yeah, you did. And what is this item? Why? All right, all right, all right, all right. Mix up the order slightly. Okay, wait, what am I doing? All right. 
Let's go to Cerulean City. Try to catch something. And then... We gotta go to the water. We gotta start battling everybody on the water below Future City. I would go to Sabrina's gym, but like I said, she's at level 50, so I gotta do some more training. I think it'd also be good to kinda knock out that mansion on Cinnabar Island as quickly as I can. Alright, so yeah, going on the water should be able to get me in Cerulean City. Catching a Pokemon. Because you can't do it in Misty's Gym. We tried that earlier, it didn't work. Alright, Zach, no not dig, surf, surf. Come on, come on. Make everything blue. There we go. We're in Cerulean City. No, we're not. Now we are. Come on. Wild Encounter, Wild Encounter. Please, please, please. It can't be this hard to catch something here. It can't. Oh my gosh. Are they not going to let anything pop up here? How is this not Pokemon infested waters? How? I'll do one more lap and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to just fish from right next to that dude. Oh, this is trash. All right, we fishing. Hopefully we hook something that we don't have. Please stop being difficult. Give me an encounter. Thank you. Please not Aerodactyl. Please not Charizard. Please not a lot of things. Why do I kind of feel like I already have this? Come on. I'll catch it to get it out of the way. Just in case. But I feel like I already have Arcanine. I feel like it'll also survive one more Seismic Toss. I was right. Yeah, it's not going to work on me on Fire Type. It's been a while since I played the game other than doing the half episode. Because there was a lot of games that needed extra recording, like Assassin's Creed 2 that needed extra recording, Genshin Impact needed extra recording. It was just a lot going on. So I didn't catch Arcanine, okay. Legendary height, six foot three, weight 342 pounds, a legendary Pokemon in China. Many people are charmed by its grace and beauty while running. Um, I didn't want this. Just because it can't learn anything. I'm calling it what it is. It's a tiger dog. Okay, that was disappointing. Let's, uh, let's get to Fusion City and start paddling people on the water. We probably won't get too many of them done, but we should be able to get enough of them done where I can end off the episode and then pick it up next time. Oh, I hadn't battled this dude yet. I have to warm up before my swim. I don't care. As long as you don't have water type Pokemon or flying or psychic. That works. He's poison, right? Yep. 
For some reason, I was thinking ice initially, and I might not be wrong on that, but definitely poison. I don't think it's ice poison, though. That's bad. Go to Houdini. Houdini can handle it. Rhyme is going to get too hurt being hit by a Psychic move. Psybeam? Oh no! I guess I'll just have to Psychic. A stronger move. And it's still standing. Easy. Of course, we are nine levels higher. All warmed up. What are you juggling? I actually don't want to know. Don't tell me. Wait, you'll have a heart attack. Dude, my character's supposed to be like 10. If my character has a heart attack, there's something extremely wrong with his health. Me, I'm a little bit more likely, although still unlikely. Matter of fact, I'll say this is an interesting fact when it comes to me. I can't stay out here. This is an interesting fact when it comes to me. Yesterday, I went on a four mile walk. It took about, let's say, hour, 10 minutes. Maybe a little bit more, like hour 12. I burned a total of 800 calories according to my Apple Watch, which apparently is an extreme amount, but there's also something to keep in mind. I am three inches away from being seven feet, and I'm 235 pounds. I expend more energy than a normal sized person. Like I remember back when I was a senior in high school, I was doing physics, and we had to do a whole experiment of going up and down the stairs, walking and running, and seeing how much energy would be expended by the person's size, weight, the incline, the speed, all that stuff being put into it. Now, the girl that sat in front of me in class, she was maybe about 5'1", five, 5'2", five, less than 100 pounds. Whereas at that time, I was still the same height, but I was like 190, 195. And we found out after doing that experiment that going up and down a flight of stairs, I burned more than double the amount of energy that she did. So, seeing that I burned 800 calories going on a four mile walk, it's not actually hard for me to believe. Even if it's extreme for a normal sized person, for me, not so much. And it's not like I'm bragging or anything. That just means I have to eat more in order to have more energy. If I don't eat enough, I'm going to be more drained. But of course, people are going to be like, well, you get to eat more. Sometimes you don't want to eat more. Sometimes you're kind of like, I'm good where I'm at. Or if I keep eating more, I'm not going to get to the body type that I want. Like there's different factors that go into it. But yeah, essentially, I burn a lot of calories by moving. Although I had no clue what my metabolism is. No clue. All I can say is, I'm not overweight. I'm in a healthy weight range. Ah, little sliver. Ooh, confused. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Can I ever get the lucky you hurt yourself? Let's just bite it to finish it off. And Magnemite is down. It is time to switch up the party. Ooh, traumatic. Yo, I don't... Oh, I never bothered to read why the guy said I was going to have a heart attack. Never bothered to read it. All right. Let's go till we see the wall. Okay, now down we go. There's a dude right in front of us. There's a flare on these waters! Did I get the flare on these waters? I don't think I did. Well, either way, we don't want to go full force at it. Quick attack. I might have to use a recover when I run into one of these wild Pokemon. Just so I get all my health back. They might do a little bit of damage, but that'll be okay. Hi, homie. I love swimming. What about you? I hate it. I don't like swimming at all. I live in a townhouse now where there's a pool for the community. I haven't used it all summer. Last two apartments I lived in had pools. Never used them. I worked at a gym 
with a pool for two and a half years. Never jumped into it. I'm just not interested in swimming. I did have a teacher back when I was in high school say that I had the right body type that was kind of like Michael Phelps. Like that was built for swimming. And I was just like, yeah, I, I'm not interested. Sorry. Because like I told you, I was 195 pounds back in high school and I was six foot nine. I'm just not someone that likes swimming. And belly flop. Good for you, I guess, maybe. Actually, that's probably not a good thing. All right, your turn. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. It's because you need HMO8s. If you don't have that, you're not really diving. Plus, mainly all you'll find down there are plant pearls and relicants, but this might not even be the right region for that. Also, where the heck is the deep water for you to dive down into? I'm not seeing that here either. Um, I think a psychic will be fine. We already know Vulpix is normal type. I mix my, miss my Vulpix. Vulpix would have been a good Pokemon. It was still kind of weak all the way up until it died, though. That's the reason why I died. Cloyster! Psychic. Is it big on special defense, too? I know it's big on defense, but special defense, I don't remember. Aw, uh, little Squirtle. I'm gonna look it up now. Let's see. Cloyster, I want to see what your stats are exactly. Its defense is a 180. Its special defense is a 45. See, I knew I had big beefy defense, but yeah, that special defense is pathetic. It's also more of an attacker than a special attacker. All right, Lulun, you go out front. Zach, you're on deck. Houdini, you go ahead and settle right behind. No, no, no. I have an interesting lineup. Like, it feels very stereotypical until you look at, like, Mr. Mime. Like, really, I have a Blastoise, I have a Venusaur, I have a Gengar, and an Alakazam. I feel like that's that you're trying to go for every strong Pokemon in the first generation type party. Yeah, then I just have Mr. Mime, and it's weird. I remember you four. These waters are treacherous. So treacherous, they'll give you a heart attack. Hey, Gengar, we know what you are. You're a Gengar. We know what you are. Here's a strength. Yeah, you weren't going to hang on. What is Gengar's defense? I don't think it's very high. Luckily, on the website that I'm on, Cloyster is right next to Ghastly, so it's not very far to get the Gengar. Now I remember Executor is just Psychic type. Let's see, just regular Haunter, because this is showing me... It's Mega Evolve form as well. Regular defense is a 60. Special defense is a 75. Its power is in its special attack and its speed. You have another one? Let's buy this one. Yeah, it's defense and it's HP are its weakest attributes. Gengars, that is. Pinsir, don't know what you are, I'm flying. Seismic Toss. Look, as long as you don't use Guillotine, it's fine. Because I don't want to have another Pokemon one-hit KO'd. Koga got extremely lucky with that, and I wish he didn't. Oh, hi, Abra. It says hands behind his head. Kind of looks like it. I know Abras don't have any defense at all. Alakazams have no defense whatsoever. If I were to go look at Alakazam. Ooh, dangerous. Yeah, I don't care. Switch to the party, see if we can get the rest of these guys into a battle before we hit half an hour. Uh, 
Zach's out front. Zach is a whiz cash and typing, I remember. I gotta refresh myself. I don't have the things on the side of my screen like what's shown on screen for the video. Okay, there's Alexam. You know, if I can remember correctly, Alexam just has horrible defense. Yeah, its defense is 45. Its special defense is 95. Nice big boost up, but yeah. All right, let's go ahead and use Surf. Wait, how bad is Abra's defense? Let's see, we got Kadabra here. 30 defense on Kadabra. Oh, I would hate to think about how it is on Alakazam. Wait, Fire Blast didn't do anything. Why am I still doing it? 15 defense on an Abra and 105 on special attack. This thing is the definition of a glass cannon. I have to hope that Dig is actually going to do something here. Yeah, it works. I mean, I guess Abra's special defense is a 55, but still. The fact that its defense is a 5. Well, I kind of want to look it up. I want to see what is the Pokemon with the lowest defense of all time. Pokemon with lowest defensive stat. Because it, it might be Abra. Hold up. Chansey and uh, Happiness base defense is a five? That cannot be true. Okay, here's the 10 worst. At number 10, which is going to be the higher on the list. Skirskit with a base defense of 32. Yay, everybody level it up. I'll do one more battle. The last battle is going to have to be saved for next episode. Because I'm about to run out of time on this episode. But I'll read all this out. Skirf, Skirskit, number 10. Base defense, 32. Number 9, Cosmog. Base defense, 31. Number 8 is... A 18 way tie with Beetle, Spearow, Alolan, Diglett, and 15 other Pokemon have a base defense of 30. And if I look into which ones they are, besides the aforementioned three, you have Kadabra, Ghastly, Hoot Hoot, Ladyba, Sunkern, Houndour, Latode, Talo, Wingle, uh, Makuhita, Starly, Pikapek, Yangus, Impidimp, and Dreepy. Wow. That's horrible. Next, both at number seven, both Cliffa and Nicket at 28 defense. Number six, Diglett and Ralts with a 25 defense, which means that Alolan Diglett has slightly more defense than just regular Diglett. Diglett. Number five, Wismer with a base defense of 23. At number four, Jigglypuff, Carvana, Feebas, Deoxys Attack Form, Wishy Washy, and Blip Bug, base defense 20. All right, number three, you have Abra, Pichu, Igglybuff, and Smoochum with a base defense of 15. Number two, you have Blissey with a base defense of 10. At number one, you have Chansey and Happiny. At, with a base defense of five. Why is the Chansey family so weak on defense? It has strong special defense. It has such horrible defense. I can't believe it. Oh, that was eye-opening. I'm exhausted too. But that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to roll this over into the next episode. So thanks so much for watching this one. Until next time, deuces. So I wrote it in the rhyme The Reverend Doctor got an 8K Wet working And roaches get the race Spray my weak rhyme My body your best verses On game day I touch the crowns of self entitled kings You leave the heat like LeBron When I melt your idols Vital things This is Malcolm and Martin Million man marching Sparta mixed with a legion of angels Surrounding sons and daughters Simon Peter with a desert eagle Waving it at Caesar So if I was you I probably wouldn't mention me 